Hello there, welcome to another video on my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the deployment of a web application, including the front end and the back end, how we can deploy an application on a cloud or on any third party uh, cloud storage provider. So uh, this video has been inspired by uh, this question, which is asked to me by one of my subscribers. And uh, this subscriber want to know that how we can do a deployment of a web application on a, some public cloud. I'm a new to the full stack web development. I went through your videos on YouTube and they are best. I have developed a website with the Angular and Node.js and MySQL database. Can you please make a video and publish to publish an Angular website? First of all, thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate this support. True love from my side. So coming to a question, how we do a deployment of the web application. So for deploying your web application, you can use any uh, cloud service or cloud storage provider. For example, I'm showing you Vercel, which I personally like. Uh, there are a ton of a cloud service provider like the AWS, Azure, GCP, of course, being the big names that everyone knows and uses it. Uh, but there are some small scale also, if your application is something very small scale, which doesn't have much user load, it's not going to have that much of it. You can go for the low tier plan, which comes in a very, really cheap price. Vercel is something that I recommend using because I also personally liked it. In one of my application I actually have deployed on the Vercel. But this is just for the front end. Remember, it is not for the back end. As you can see that I have a back end URL configured in my code as a local host 3000 something. And uh, I can see that my requests are failing here, which is of course because my back end is not deployed. So to deploy the back end services, you can deploy them also using a Vercel. It's a really full stack solution. You can. Uh, deploy the backend services in the node.js php or whatever stack you have you can deploy them but for the backend services you need to go for the premium plan and uh, that's not free but the front end is free because it's just uh, assets html and js files which no one charges actually fire cell is something i would go for because it has a really good plans and it's very easy to use you can directly connect it to a github repository and you can set up the ci cd pipeline built and the deployment very easily and if you have to buy the domains, you can buy them from here. So you can go to a buy domain and uh, you can search for the availability of your domains and it will tell you that if the domain is available, you can buy it from here. The plans are really cheap. It doesn't have to be fair sell domain. You can have your own domain purchase from something else, somewhere else. You can you can still use it along with the fair sell and it would work perfectly fine. And there are a ton of other features like the usage, monitoring, storage. You can get a clear idea of like how much storage you have. You can even create an image of the Postgres or whatever database you have. So you have that visibility here. You can create a new database instance directly from the fair sells UI. It will spin up that new instance of a database and you just have to connect that with your backend. You just have to configure that URLs, database endpoint URL or the credentials in your backend services. And if that doesn't answer your question, I have an option too also. If you just have a front-end application, which is just a front-end stack, we just have a HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and you want to host it. It has nothing to do with the backend services or no database at all. If you have such application, a complete static site, what you can do is you can use a GitHub pages so I have my personal portfolio that I have hosted on the actually hosted over the GitHub as you can see the domain name here, my repository name and then github.io. So it's actually subdomain of the GitHub completely developed in the Angular. It is the Angular application uh, using the Delvin CSS. It's very minimal. So maybe we can discuss like how to set up an uh, front end application on the GitHub pages. So in order to do that, you just have to go to a settings and under the settings, you will find a pages option here under the code and automation. You just click on the pages. And there you have to choose like from which branch you want to deploy uh, artifacts that are present in this branch. You have to deploy that to an actual subdomain that we have for the GitHub. So I have choose like this branch, you can create a new branch or whatever. But in my case, what I'm doing is I'm compiling my application. I'm building my Angular application with a ng build production configuration. And then I'm putting that artifacts, whatever get generated in the disk. I'm putting that in the gh hyphen pages branch and that will basically get deployed. So if I take you to gh pages branch you can see that in the gh pages i just got a plain artifacts that are actually output of my uh, ng build command so these are the artifacts that you usually find in your dist folder so these are the things that i got as you can see here uh these are the things assets media favicon text html main js polyfill these are the actual things that i got pushed to my gh pages and i'm not pushing it manually it happens through a ci cd pipeline so in order to set the variables, you have to go to actions and there you can set the variable. So why the heck you need a variable? Because when I said that you want to, when you want to configure a CI/CD pipeline, which will do a build and a 
deployment automatically you need to have a token from the github so you can generate a token creating a new access token is really easy you can do that from the settings you go to your profile settings and if you go to a uh, developer settings there you will have this option to generate a new token so you can generate a personal access token so you go to the tokens and uh, as you can see that i already have one token here which i set expiry has never expire as you can see here this token has no expiration date so you can generate a new token similarly like this so you have to generate a token from here and once you have that token you just come to your repository and in your repository you grab that token and set it as a variable in your repository so i have my token generated from there what i'll do is i'll come here in the repository go to the actions under the secrets and variables and here i will just put that token so i created this variable called gh token gh underscore token that has actual value of my personal access token that i generated from my developer settings that's all you need like it's very easy as i said like it's a five minutes of job so once you have that you need to have one yaml file which is your ci cd pipeline file so you can grab this from my repository what i got so uh, what is inside this yaml file is basically a set of instruction which tells that whenever there any change or any push any commit will happen to a repository it will trigger a build and it will build my angular project and whatever artifacts are there it is going to grab them and deploy them so you need to create this yaml file under dot github folder there should be a dot github folder in your repository under that you need to have workflows and then you can have main.yaml file uh, so this is the convention that a github actually suggests you to use it's something that's specific to a github and the content of yaml file is pretty simple what you got is a, a jobs inside that you have a build so uh, you just have to check out to the repository this is the standard code that you will get which node version you want to use you just have to specify that version here then you run your install command so you can use any package manager people usually use npm npm i like to use yarn because it's my personal favorite but it's completely up to you whatever you can use then you need to have this command in your package.json so i have install and the build prod in my package just package.json with the install i'm just installing the packages and with the build prod i'm giving configuration as a production and base href as a slash i will use this action which is predefined there so maybe we can let google this what exactly this is so we can go there and github plc's github action pages so uh, this is the project github action for the github pages deploy static files and the publish your site easily static site generator friendly so this is the static site generator which is responsible for grabbing your dist folder content and uh, copying them over the github subdomain so i not went into a detail of it but i understand like what exactly it is doing uh, it's a simple program that will grab your dist folder content and will copy paste over the directory and in order to copy paste over the right directory it need to have a personal access token so that's why we pass this personal access token here which will be grabbed at a runtime from the secrets github token it will grab that and uh, it will use that to copy paste your disk folder contents whatever you got here into the subdomain and ultimately what result you get is a is a site like this so uh, this site is completely you know, front end as i can show you uh, it has no network call and it's like completely front end completely static site so if you have a use case like this then uh, you can use the github pages which is completely free and it is associated with your github repository so you don't need to worry about like posting your source code and something different and then compiling it and pushing to a something like first cell because in this case your source code is present also on the github and you are deploying it on the same service provider which is github so it's really easy in this case so i'll put the link of this uh, repository in the description below of this video you can go there and have a look over the yaml file it's very small pretty clean no much fancy stuff happening pretty simple so you can have a look over it and if you have any question or any comments do let me know them in our comment section down below and if you find my videos helpful then please subscribe to my channel because your support means a lot to me and thank you for watching this video have a great day bye, -bye.